Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, this is the Ramble. I'm Alex Bennett. And we'll be here until midnight tonight, Eastern Daylight Time, here from the least infected city in the United States of America, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we are the least infected city. Women, where, where is uh, this? Is a daily thing I get from uh, the governor. Our governor, Andrew Cuomo, a man who saved all our lives. Let me see here. Uh, Monday, July 20th. That's this coming Monday. New York City will enter phase four of reopening. Phase four allows for the reopening of media production, low-risk outdoor entertainment, professional sports competitions without fans. Okay. Uh, Let me see here. Uh, and uh, at this point, additional indoor activity at malls, restaurants, and cultural institutions will not be permitted. Uh, but we must continue to be, I'm so proud of what New Yorkers have done, but we must continue to be alert. Uh, now, here, here's, here's the latest numbers we've got here. The number of total hospitalizations continues to drop today now, this, when they say total hospitalizations, these are the amount of people in the hospitals right now in New York State, one of the largest states you've ever seen, folks, uh, um, uh, one of the largest states you've ever seen. Uh, it's, um, uh, let's see here, how many we got? 765. Now, you got to realize there are 300 hospitals in the state, so that's about a little less than two and a half people per hospital on an average, uh, that are uh, in the hospital with COVID-related uh, situations. Of the 770, uh, of, uh, then they had 78,239 tests. You know, I thought that was a lot, that we did a lot. According to Gavin Newsom, California did 125,000 tests yesterday. Anyway, we did uh, 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 78,239 tests, of which 776, or 0.99%, were positive. Sadly, it says, though, we lost 10 New Yorkers to the virus. So, you know, we continue to lose people to the virus. But um, it says a heat wave is expected in New York this weekend. I urge New Yorkers statewide to take precautions ahead of potentially dangerous heat conditions that are expected to begin Saturday and last through the weekend. New Yorkers should monitor local weather forecasts for the most up-to-date information. That means I'm staying indoors. I ain't going out. You know, when it's hot, when it gets really hot, I have the same attitude I have when it's really cold, okay? Um, You know, uh, stay indoors. If it's snowing heavily, uh, and are raining heavily, I stay indoors, right? And if the, te- if the humidity is incredible and the heat index is terrible, you bet your life, folks, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to go outdoors. Uh, let me see here. Uh, well, f- as long as we're talking about the COVID, let, we haven't done this. We only do this about once a week now. Let's take a look at the world map. This can, uh, courtesy of Johns Hopkins University an esteemed medical organization, so obviously Donald Trump doesn't like it. But anyway, this is, uh, this is the tale of the tape here, folks. Worldwide, total confirmed 14,049,207 today, as of today, have had the coronavirus in the world of which there were 601,494 494 deaths, of which, well, we'll get to this in a second. First, look at this, look at this the map here. Okay, oh, come on, come on, I hate, hate this mouse just is, it's too, um, hmm, this is not what I, that's not good. Here, come here, come here, come here. Eh, 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 Hold on a second. Oh, no, that's not what I want. Oh, boy. I, I'm having trouble here with this today. Come on. They, no, now I don't want that. 
but I want that to go back to that. There we go. Uh, come on. Are you gonna are you, are you gonna do this for me, or do I have to continue to? Oh boy, here I'll just try this again, and we'll try and bring it up again. Sorry, folks, technical difficulties. I don't care. I'll spend the re I'll spend the rest of my life with technical difficulties. It's just one thing after fucking another. Well, come on, where's the map? Oh well. Oh, here it comes, the map. Slowly but surely the map comes up. Look at us, the United States. Look at, look at how dense we are when it comes to coronavirus. Look at, you notice where it cuts off here? Canada. Look at Canada. Nothing. Nothing in Canada. In fact, I, let me see here. Canada only has 111,559 people. We'll check it out in a second. We'll see how many dead. Let's go to the U.S. here. Let's go to the U.S. here. 3,641,417. We are still the world leader in, uh, in all this sort of stuff. Uh, deaths in, New York, in, in the United States are at 139,175. See that up there? Right there. Okay. Uh, that's, uh, you know, that, that, that didn't need to be, okay, but it is. And it continues to be because we've got governors who are acting like idiots because they don't want to get Donald Trump mad at them. So they're going along with this orthodoxy that you, uh, that it's really just a bad cold is what it is, folks. It's just a bad cold. It doesn't, uh, you know, it's the only thing that we, we that it, that it is. And we don't need to wear masks. Uh, people can wear masks, but if they keep their distance, they don't need to wear the masks. And Oh, by the way, if the person in Atlanta who's the mayor makes it a law that you have to wear a mask, uh, the governor will then turn around and sue her. <sighs> God, the world we live in. Anyway, back to the map, folks. The weather in, no, uh, let's see here. But you look at, uh, you look at Europe, it's, it's kind of dense there. And the United States, quite dense. China, not as dense. Okay, let's look at Brazil. Oh, man, Brazil. Oh, it's up there now with us. Uh, let's see here. How many deaths? 77,851. We're at, we're at 100 and... Um, we're at 100. Where, where, where are we again? We're at 139,000. Brazil is really coming up close here with 77,851. You go to India, things are, are, are pretty bad in cases, but they're only in third place, with tw and they have 25,602 deaths. In Russia, uh, they've got... Uh, now, we think Russia's lying, okay? Um, but Russia... Uh, come here, Russia. Bring up Russia. There we... Wait, no, that's, that's global deaths. That's what we want. Um, 12,106 deaths. I don't believe that. 758,001 confirmed cases. I don't believe that either. Next comes Peru. Oh, they got 345,537 with 12,799 uh, 12, deaths. Um, we got South Africa. They're, they're doing... They're pretty big. Mexico. Huh? Listen, they 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 built that. They're now building their side of the wall to keep us out, because uh, we're so infectious. Get it? Uh, Chile. Oh, there's Chile right down there, folks. Uh, they 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 three hundred twenty six thousand four hundred thirty nine uh, uh, cases. But we get to these countries that used to be big, like the UK. Okay, they're forty five thousand deaths. Uh, Iran. 13,000 deaths. Spain, 28,000 deaths. Uh, Pakistan, 5,400 deaths. Saudi Arabia, uh, 2,407 deaths. Uh, Italy, oh, they had, they had a bad time there for a while. 35,028. See, what happened is they went up and they plateaued, but they didn't come down the other side. Did... Uh, what happened with uh, France? Did they come down the other side? No, they're still they're still kind of going up a little bit. Germany uh, plateauing kind of. 
Bangladesh, uh, oh, they're, they're in bad shape. Uh, Colombia, Argentina, look at that. See, you see them right here when you see them. He's going up, 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 up. Canada, here we go. Canada, now you look at Canada. This is pretty nice, actually, if you, if you think about it. Because if you look at the map, you see, it's just like you could draw a line across the border, and then on the other side, there's not a hell of a lot. So, anyway, those are some of the Cutter. Oh, gee, let's see. Cutter can't have many. They only had 153 deaths. Netherlands, uh, 12,295 deaths. Uh, and, we, and China, uh, uh, only 4,644 deaths. Uh, so uh, we go uh, we go on and on and on. What's the what's the bottom country? The Central African Republic, 53 deaths, 4,389 confirmed. Djibouti, no, did you? Uh, 56 deaths. Luxembourg, come on, 111 deaths in Luxembourg. Hell, I don't know. Have you ever been to Luxembourg? You know, it basically, uh, you go through a uh, stoplight and you've left the country. Anyway, but uh, so we, we have all these, uh, this, all this is going on like crazy, folks. And it's, uh, it's not pretty. It's not pretty. We, uh, we are not uh, uh, doing very well today. They say that uh, Florida may be worse than some of the, they say it's worse than, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, Wuhan was, okay, in the actual numbers. Uh, just terrible, just terrible. And we don't do anything about it, you know? We're just sitting around uh, twiddling our thumbs, uh, kind of hoping that, that this will all go away and it will disappear and we won't have to put up with it anymore. It's not, it's, it's not a, until you people start wearing the masks. Now, let me, let me tell you something about wearing the mask. Okay. So yesterday, our governor, in his uh, daily uh, briefing, oh, there we go, Lex Luthor. Okay. Wait a minute. Let me put the hat back on here. Um, yesterday, the governor, our governor, turned out, uh, I think, eight different uh, spots for uh, coronavirus, uh, the spots to be played all over the United States. He went and got uh, uh, Catherine Bigelow, Academy Award winning director, to put some people together to make these things, and I had one that was with Morgan Freeman. And I decided, hey, I'll play it. You know, it's a public service announcement. I'm sure it's not in copyright, so I'll play it and you put it on my on my on my program so I download it and I play it last night and guess what they told me that I had broken copyright and that they, they I couldn't monetize that show uh, because uh, I was using some music by Hans Zimmer called Splendor I think it's called and, it, and I, what I hadn't stopped to think was there was some music in the background of this thing. And I figured, well, you know, come on. It's, it's, it, you know, I didn't even think about the music. And I thought about the spot and that it's, it's produced by, the, by New York, who has all the rights to it. But certainly they're not going to stop me from playing it. They want as many people as possible to see this. Uh, it, it, it said, it was the end of the spot says, Mask Up America. So I get this thing, and it says, uh, you know, you, you vi violated somebody's copyright, and they can get the money from the show for that episode. And uh, while I don't mind if they do, uh, I do mind that I tried to do something nice, and now I'm going to have to be penalized for it. So they said, you can do a couple of things. You can, uh, you can um, uh, dispute it. Uh, which I was starting to do, and then it said, well, if you dispute this thing, but it's a false disputing, uh, we could drop you from YouTube, okay, which I don't want to see happen. Uh, and then I figured if I also, if I complain about it, and then I do it again tonight, they'll, they'll give me another thing again, because it's a machine that does it. It's a, it's a thing at YouTube that says, oh, that's, that's copyrighted music. You can't play that. 
So that would happen again. So then I would have to write another note, and then another note, and then another note. And then I did. So I just decided to hell with it, and I just, what I told them to do, what I said was uh, what I wanted to see happen was for them to just, uh, uh, you know, uh, just cut it out. So if you watch last night's show, you know, on YouTube, you will see the very end of the spot at the very beginning of the show, which says Mask Up America, so I'm happy for that. And then I discuss it, and I say, let me show this to you again, and then all of a sudden nothing goes on but a sign that says Mask Up America, and we're back again. So what they did is they cut out the music and the thing that had the music in it. Uh, I could have told them to put uh, different music on there, uh, but I decided not to because... Uh, um, that wouldn't work because I wanted Morgan Freeman's voice. So, you know, here I was trying to do something nice, okay, and fucking YouTube, the slime bags that they are, the, the, the inhuman people there, they're inhuman because they've got, they've got a machine deciding whether I broke the rules or not. And uh, they make my life miserable. So uh, you're not going to see that spot again. I'm sorry. I really wanted the world to see. There are eight of them. I would have wound up playing all eight of them on this show at one time or another because I think it's a great campaign, Mask Up America. And it, what it basically says is, you know, um, I don't know you. I've never met you. Uh, even if we had met, we might not really even care about each other. But the one thing I do know is that when I wear a mask, I'm protecting you. And when you wear a mask... You're protecting me. And then it says, Mask Up America. And it's a beautiful spot. And uh, I, ju I just was trying to do something nice, okay? Forget it. N nothing nice to do. You know, uh, at YouTube, the inhumane, inhumane machines that they are, okay? Uh, and uh, you know, I get all kinds of things. Like they, they sometimes don't monetize me because they find a four-letter word used too many times in the show. And I, I'm so tired of that. I'm thinking of just de not monetizing the show at all. Uh, I'm not going to see any real money out of it. I'm, I'm about to hit $100 or something. But I'm not going to monetize it much. And I, it puts me through too much sorus, okay? Um, so I don't know. I'm drinking, drinking tea tonight. I decided that's better for me than coffee. That doesn't mean I don't drink coffee during the day. Anyway. Mm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, anything else? Um, oh, yeah, and then I had, today I had a problem with my, my Canadian server. Uh, they, they, for some reason, I don't know, it, 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 I, all of a sudden I can't send my stuff up to the Canadian server, and it had something to do with... I went over the amount of stuff that I could have on the uh, on the server, which is fine. I know there's a limit, but I didn't hit that limit. Somehow I found files that were made, like zip files and so on, that were made that were huge, and I, I stopped them. So now that it'll work, but I'm I'm getting rid of that Canadian server as well, slowly but surely. Uh, so you know. So if you had any problems today on any level, it's just, forget it. It's, it's miserable. You know, sometimes I wonder if it's all worth doing this. You know, just because half my day is taken up with putting out fires. I was online to the, uh, to the server up in Canada today uh, trying to get this problem solved. And, you know, that took several hours out of my life, which I could better, you know, spend masturbating or doing something, although I, you know, with the operation and everything, masturbation isn't as big a priority any longer. But it's given me back my dignity, you know. But it's taken away a hobby. Anyway, I think maybe it's time for us to uh, go to the, uh, to go to the, um, um, the callers. If you want to call, you're out there. Uh, just go, uh, let's see here, go um, uh, to... Um, Go to, uh, go to gabnet.net, and you can uh, find out uh, how with, in one click you can come on and join our citizen panel. You just click it, it takes you to Zoom, and Zoom takes you to our, our uh, uh, room, and uh, we are, you know, we're doing our thing, okay? Uh, and um, uh, uh, just go there, or right down here, 
right down the bottom along here. It says, during the program, you can zoom us at, and there's an address there. There's a link. You just click on that where you're looking at us on YouTube, okay? Just link on that, and uh, uh, you'll be able to do it. Anyway, let me see here. Uh, uh, Phil is here. Uh, hold on a second. There's Phil. There he is. Hello, Phil. How are you? Uh, I'm fine tonight, Alex. Yeah. How are you? I'm uh, I'm fine. I've been kind of a little wheezy today. I don't know why. There's something wrong in the air. There's, yeah. You know. uh, have you been using your filter? Yeah, it's not working. It's not no. working. No. Hello, Jeff. Uh, Jeff joined us, and we should be seeing josh any moment now there's josh and charlie wallace will be joining us any second now uh, because i just approved him just mm -hmm. admitted him i keep the uh, waiting room going uh because uh uh we find that if if uh if i don't sometimes we have a problem with a uh, little thing we call zoom people oh there we go is that a green screen you've gotten back here you just doing the thing can you hear me? Yeah, I can yeah. hear you. Yeah. Oh, I'm just doing the thing. Yeah. You know, I don't like, I, the one thing about Zoom is I don't like those backgrounds. And I'll tell you why. Because you kind of like, it doesn't exactly work. You know, it doesn't have the, it doesn't just cut you out and put you in there. It's like some shadows and things and there's some gazorchness and it's not, it's not perfect. You see? Like, no, it's not perfect. Yeah, it's not perfect at all. Mm -hmm. So uh, if it was, it'd be fun to have everybody doing their, their little, their little bit, you know. Uh, but uh, uh, it would, will would work if you had a green screen, okay, you know. It's amazing that it does it without. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. But it, but it, it's a, it's a hinky way of doing it, and I don't think they've got it down perfectly at all, you know. Well, let's see here. Brian Neary is coming on, join, going to join us any second now, uh, and uh, he, oh. Okay, Where, where's the kid today? No aging. Um, she's downstairs. She, I had to sneak up here. She'll follow me, and she says, "I want to be on the show." <laughs> hey, listen, it's fine. With, it's fine with us. She has a very mature attitude about life. Yeah, you were just talking about your masturbation uh, <laughs> gaps now because of that. Yeah. Yeah, but she, if I said, you know, something, if I said masturbation, she wouldn't even know what I was talking about. Yeah, then she'd be asking me. <laughs> well, let's see. What uh, joys of I said, that was my hobby too. <laughs> it has something to do with fishing, Brian. You know, your master <laughs> yeah. dating. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. What's your shirt, Charlie? That's how I roll. Oh, the science. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, good. You yeah, know, I, I like your sarcasm one last night too. <laughs> I decided that I want to make a T-shirt up, uh, and I, I don't know if I have the guts to wear it in my neighborhood, but it would read, if you believe Black Lives Matter, <laughs> mask up. Don't wear that, no. Uh, you, you might end up getting the same uh, response that uh, that 24-year-old got that was uh, killed for saying all lives matter. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, um, all lives do matter, but you don't say it because... It's impinging. We'll it's impinging on a copyright. You know. Yeah. I mean, but all I'm saying is, is that you know, if you if you if you believe that Black Lives Matter and you're black, wear a mask. You know, that's it, plain and simple. Am I Remember, right, Char Am I right, Charlie? Am I, would I, I be yeah, wrong yeah. in saying that? No, no problem at all. And by the way, if you believe Black Lives Matter, quit shooting each other too. That might be nice. You know, in your they don't like to hear that either. Yeah, uh, they'll shoot you over that. Well, I just think that you know, yes, black lives do matter. And let's forget about all lives matter for a second because that's easy to say. You know, you don't yeah. think that this is a group that's been hijacked by Marxists and people with an agenda, and why do the no, money don't no, go no, to no. the Democratic Marxist. Party? Oh, oh my God! Fox News. Oh, you know, God, They Phil. tell the truth. Oh, God. They're not sitting there lying all day like MSNBC. I don't know, but go ahead. Be a racist. I don't care. You know, you know there's, there's a, a... I think it's the truth. Huh? There's a passage in the Bible about that where Jesus has a hundred sheep and one sheep wanders off. And he leaves the 99 sheep and goes off to find the one sheep. And the other sheep say, wait, what about us? 
don't we matter? And Jesus says, well, you're not the one who's in trouble. Ah, very good. Very good. That's very good. Yeah. Very good. Did Jesus really say that? That's what it says in the Bible. It doesn't say that in the Bible? Yeah, I didn't know they had. <coughs> I didn't know they had such kind of pithy parables like that. If they mm. did, I I would have read the New Testament. Aesop's Fable Bible. What? Aesop's Fables Bible. You know, it's Aesop's Fables. When you have to explain them, Phil, they're not worth telling. Well, maybe you aren't that well read. I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, of course, I believe the Bible is all fables anyway. But I'm just saying, if you're a Christian then you should be able to understand why we say Black Lives Matter. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and uh, it, 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 it's a sentiment that, that definitely is worth, is worth stating, okay? And I feel that by, you know, at one point I was saying, yeah, but all lives matter. And then I thought, mm -hmm. eh, why, why should I misappropriate somebody else's thing, you know? That's kind of misappropriating Black Lives Matter. Uh, come up with our own thing. You know, I mean, I think let, let me, all lives matter, and that's why I think we're we're being killed by our government. You know, another way to see it is 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 if your wife's mother dies and she's crying, you can't go up and say to her, "Well, everybody's mothers die." Yeah, <laughs> that's the truth. But your wife's gonna be pretty pissed off at you if you if you handle her yeah. mother's death that so, way. Sorry to hear about your mother's death, but we all, we're all gonna die someday. That's the other one. Yeah. Oh, and you didn't like her anyway. <laughs> well, that was that was a joke. That was Tony. I said that to Tony when he told me that his was grandmother was his grandmother or his aunt. aunt I think. Aunt, the aunt, I think. Yeah. yeah. And I said, well, I never liked her anyway, and uh, as a joke, and he started crying. Yeah. And this was on Sirius XM. And the one thing you don't want to do, you can you can do whatever you want to do to somebody, but you don't want to get them crying because then you yeah. lose everybody. Yep. Yeah. My, when I was younger, my grandfather, when I'd go out with a girl, he'd say, "Oh, I really like her." Mm -hmm. Then I'd see him the next time, and I say, "Oh yeah, we broke up." He'd say, "Oh yeah, I didn't like her anyway." Well, it, <laughs> my friend Penn Gillette, whenever somebody would say I broke up with my girlfriend, would say, "Well, I didn't like her anyway." Uh, and I'd say, why do you say that? Because I said it to him once, and he said, I didn't like her anyway. I said, you never knew her. Why did you say that? He said, I just say that anytime somebody says that, because they don't want to hear, hey, she was wonderful. Why? How could you lose something so wonderful? You know? Hey, what a piece of ass. Yeah, how what a piece of ass. How could you lose that? You know? <laughs> what are you, an idiot? No, I never liked her anyway. And that's why when Tony did that, I said, I didn't like, I never liked her anyway. I, I don't know he why he cried. Me. I never knew her, so how could I not like her anyway? The, the thought of it yeah hmm. not from you yeah man it's getting humid out here it's <laughs> getting humid it's humid out here too yeah it was yeah. 93 here today really how yeah. bad your state doing still doing okay i think there was an uptick i know that for example the yankees open on next Thursday, I think it is, at Nationals Park in D.C., mm -hmm. and now there's question as to whether or not they're going to allow the game to be played there, mm. because because supposedly if you're flying in, you have to be quarantined for two weeks, yeah. so now they're talking about maybe playing in an alternate location. The Nats may not be able to play their home games in D.C., well, then don't fly. Take the bus. Well, that's the thing. You know, it's it's interesting. You're right. They could do that. Yeah. Let me ask you Just a question. A four-hour you're, drive. You're, you're a big baseball fan. Mm -hmm. It seems to me you could play the entire baseball season without without a, a crowd. Okay. And that's what they're doing. And wait a minute. And right. and and you know, sitting at home, you could probably root for your team and say, "Oh, go, go, go," and so on and so forth. Although now, all I hear it in. Uh, I think it's at uh, the, the, the Yankee Stadium. You can actually buy a cutout of yourself to put I in mean, the stands. San Francisco, you can. Yeah. You can I think can that's at City Field, actually. I think that's the Mets. <coughs> it's the Mets are doing that? Yeah. Uh, and, and San Francisco, the Giants are doing it. Yeah. So they're putting people like Joe Montana out there. The season ticket holders get to pick. And they can do <laughs> themselves or they're doing celebrities and stuff. Yeah. But anyway, so they're, they're doing that. And and that's kind of kind of fun, but you know I mean they're, they're playing a game. They're gonna you can watch it on TV. They get TV revenue for it, so that's cool. 
you know. Uh, They're piping in sound now. I watched the Yankee intra-squad game tonight. They're piping in. Tonight's the first night they turned on piping in crowd sounds. Oh, really? So it's it's yeah. it's it's like a bad TV show now. It's yeah. Like, so yeah. Yeah, it's like it's like the uh, old fifties sitcoms, yeah. right? They're, yeah. they're putting in a, a track. Somebody a walks track. in the door and goes, "Hi, dear. I'm home." And then you hear, "Ha ha 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 ha." But they're they doing it all. They're doing it all across baseball, uh, yeah. and they're using the audio from uh, MLB the show. They're yeah. using the crowd yeah. noise from MLB The Show. and But Again. Buck Showalter, who has been a commentator with the Yankees, used to manage them, and then he managed the Orioles, mm-hmm. and he's managed a bunch, said you got to be careful with that because who's controlling the volume level? And mm-hmm. they're, they're wondering what – he was wondering whether or not it could be used against the away team, mm-hmm. make it difficult for them to communicate. It's an interesting point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't well, have the we'll throw the bum out. <laughs> I, I think the I think the one thing that's gonna be interesting is this bubble that they do in the NBA, because when you play basketball, those guys swear a lot, and and that's with the big crowd, and you can bear you can still hear them a little bit. Now when you have no crowd, uh, they'll pipe, pipe in sound. Basketball. They have to pipe in sound there. Otherwise, you're right. It would be you'd be bleeping everything on a seven second delay. Yeah, and a lot of vulgarities. Well, the thing is that they can pretty well tamp down the sound from the from the players because but you don't hear them nothing. much anyway. Oh, you, well, you would. You could hear them on the baseball diamond. Well, yeah. hey, you know, America should get used to hearing the word fuck on their TV yeah. shows. You know, the Golden State Warriors. How do you feel about that, that, Brian, with your daughter? You want to watch a sports game and hear all that profanity? <laughs> no, and, you know, I've played a lot of basketball, and, man, there's a lot of people... I see a lot of bad things too, you know. You know, I, I was able to spend uh, a number of seasons uh, taking photographs of the Golden State Warriors uh, from from the. Uh, see wood. now, the story and, he's telling you is not because he wants to tell you a story about the Golden State Warriors, <laughs> yeah, well, like, but the fact and, that he took pictures for yeah, the Golden and, State and Warriors. I, it was his way of getting that in there. Otherwise, the I, story doesn't matter. Well, yeah. yeah, but I didn't hear any uh, vulgarity. Uh, coming from those guys, none whatsoever. That's weird. What were they? And, sissies? Yeah, yeah, they were sissies. But I, I <laughs> mean, I, you know, yeah. right down there, many games, several seasons. That's and, weird. Uh, not not one peep that was vulgar. <clears throat> Where did I yeah, hear? They're, they're I'm, having. I'm broadcast. Having total. a lot of problems. They they have this bubble and they have these hotels where these NBA players are playing, mm-hmm. and they keep bringing in girls. And they have a snitch hotline that these guys are calling and saying, snitching on some of the other players. And oh. then they're also trying to get their weed. Washington, <laughs> Washington Redskins just had a 15 uh, females complain out for sexual harassment. Yeah. Interesting. Now, you know, I don't know who they harassed, they, you know, who said they harassed with but well one of them was uh the uh all time the their long time uh broadcaster who just resigned oh yeah 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 wow but it wasn't the owner or some other guy their radio was... broad there's no television there's no regional television in in the nfl so it was their local radio guy who's been around since like 2005 yeah. he resigned suddenly yesterday the day before they did they say what the uh, types of harassment was? Or? Yeah, you could read about it. It's um, just just saying stuff to women like, "Hey, you know," just making comments to women. Yeah, uh, but I don't I remember the exact comments, but some of them are written down in the articles. Yeah, anything yeah. like nice tits. <laughs> Nothing that overt, but like, "Hey, how about you and me?" Or "Don't you are you attracted to me?" Or you know. Mm. Just making Rather comments busy. about women. Yeah, yeah. I guess it was pervasive. Not appropriate but, but, in the workplace. And and then someone told these women, look, if you don't like it, there's a thousand other women. That's that, right. Uh, yeah. Take That's your right. job. Yeah. And they didn't grab the pussy. Well, they wanted. They didn't go that far, but somebody else did. That's okay. They you can be president and do that. Pussy. Exactly. You can't do anything else in this world and do that, but you can be president. Hmm. Uh, he didn't grab the pussy. He says you could grab the pussy. He said I grabbed him by the pussy. No, I, 
And he yes, says, I he could said. grab them by the pussy. No. Could no. grab them. Phil, I don't remember the Phil, word could what, are you do, what, what are you doing? Saying that the way you're saying it is better than the other way? <laughs> no, he was just talking about what was going on. He was in, talking about in, the in, fact in, that it, 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 it being a, a privileged celebrity. person, you could, you could grab them by the pussy and they wouldn't well, complain. That was, was the right. essence at, of what he was saying. Look, look at, he, he was talking about people like Weinstein. No. And, uh, you no, know, he wasn't talking, talking about himself. He wasn't huh? talking about people no, like Weinstein. He was talking about, about he was talking about himself, Phil. This is before Do I have Weinstein. to go back and find yeah. that audio? Well, Weinstein had been around for a long time. This was you should the, play the audio, uh, Alex. Yeah, yeah, you should. But the the thing is, uh, I, I believe that what I heard was he said you could grab him by the pussy. And if it makes you feel better. Was what was pervasive in the entertainment industry. And that's what he was talking. That's about. not how I took it. He well, was bragging. That's not how you took it? He, he was bragging. He was bragging. He's famous and he can get away with whatever he wants to do. That's right. Because I'm famous, I just grab him and kiss him. Yeah, yeah. yeah he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah he did say he liked to grab him and kiss him. Okay, but that was all right. By the pussy. All right, Phil. Hold on a second. I oh, hope you find the audio. Oh, hold on. Here we go. Hold on. Here we here, that, Oh, here uh, we go. Chris Wait a minute. Let me, let me see here. Is who is Jeff MSNBC Elson? Version? Hello. Who is Jeff the Elson? words of Donald J. Oh, Trump. Hold on. Jeff? Are you there, Jeff? Who, Jeff? Because if, if, no, if I don't hear from you. But me, I'm on, on, on. Jeff Elson. Are you there, Jeff? Okay. Well, then you're not going to be here any longer. I'm trying to figure it out. Huh? Yeah. Well, I'm the only child. No, if, if they don't do it within a certain amount of time, I'm not going to waste my time. I got to shift. Disqualified. Anyway, be quiet because this is coming out over the same right. audio as you are. Hold on a second. Where am I? Uh, unmute site. Okay. Here we, here we here anyway, we. Anyway, be quiet because this is coming out over the same right. audio. Wait, 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 wait where's that are? coming Hold from? Who? It may be you. Uh, oh, you oh, have oh, a browser oh. open? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Where am I? Wait, 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 wait. wait a minute. It's coming from somewhere. Let me see here. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. Is, uh, is it, oh, it's there. Here it is. Here. Oh, I see. Uh, I got to stop me. Okay. Hold on a second. Pause. Okay. Now I think. Are we okay? All right. All right. We're okay now. Now here I go. I, I had to unmute. Uh, YouTube. Uh, here we go. And she used to be great. She's still very beautiful. I moved on her, actually. You know, she was down on Palm Beach. I moved on her, and I failed. I'll admit it. Whoa. I, I did try and <laughs> her. She was married. It's huge news, Sarah. <laughs> no, no, Nancy. Yeah. No, this was marriages. And I moved on her very heavily. In fact, I took her out furniture shopping. She wanted to get some furniture. I said, I'll show you where they have some nice furniture. <laughs> I took her out furniture. I moved on her like a bitch, <laughs> but I couldn't get there. And she was married. And all of a sudden, I see her. She's now got the big phony and everything. She's totally changed her look. She's your girl's hot in the purple. Whoa! Yes! Whoa! <laughs> yes, the Donald Escort! <laughs> oh, my man! Wait, wait, you gotta look at me when you get out of your life. That is very Will you give me the thumbs up? Okay, you are a <laughs> thumbs up. You gotta okay. get the thumbs up. You can't be too happy. Else off first? Yeah, let me. It's very funny. You gotta get the thumbs up. Right, you and I will walk there. Oh, my God. Maybe it's a different one. Better not be the public. No, it's, it's her. It's yeah, that's her, with the gold. I better use some Tic Tacs just in case I start kissing her. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the <laughs> I can do anything. OK. There you go. Okay, Phil? Uh, he said, when you're a star, you can do anything. You can grab them by he the pussy. He was referring to himself the as pussy. the star. Huh? Phil, you're, you're parsing words here. The fact I is... His he forgot his words from the Howard Stern show where he says that the Miss Junior teen pageant where he goes backstage and looks at them half naked because he can, because he owns the pageant. You forgot that. And they're changing them. Well, you know, that's, come on, Ed, uh, that would be yeah. reprehensible, Phil. If it were anybody else but Donald Trump, you would. If that were any Democratic candidate, but he <laughs> didn't say that he grabbed them by the pussy. He says, "If okay, you, so right. he, okay. he said, I, I you, uh, you, you, you are you sent me that thing about sycophant. You are a sycophant. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that means uh, you're an ass kisser." 
Yeah. Just yeah. I mean, I mean, keep I, mean, right. I mean, he basically what what he was saying. It look, it was still disgusting what he said. It was anywhere but else he'd be fired. Any other job, yeah. media job, whatever, he'd be if, gone if from if that those, job. If that tape had come out while he was on The Apprentice, they would have fired him from The Apprentice. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. They had it, and it was the same uh, NBC, right? It was, uh, so they had it for the no, apprentice. No, it was Access they, Hollywood. Access, was Hollywood. Access Hollywood was run on NBC stations, but it was uh, owned by its own private company. Well, can't imagine Obama saying that. Yeah, yeah, imagine, imagine, you know, I mean, look at some of the people who get in trouble today for what they say. Right. Uh, that, that, that it, what they're saying is minor compared to this stuff. But this, this was, you know, many, many years ago. Twenty fourteen? No, it was two thousand three. I thought. I don't remember. No, it wouldn't have been that long ago. Yeah. Phil. Yeah. Phil. When are you going to realize that Trump is a sleaze bag? Well, most New Yorkers are. Oh, Jesus. You know. So you admit. That's good. Well, you know, that's the way. Is that, they is that your defense that most New Yorkers are? <laughs> so, a there man, is no so a man who becomes president of the United because, States isn't expected there is none, no to defense. live up to a certain, a certain level? Yeah, well, at least he's honest about who he is, and he's not some uh, elitist. <laughs> That's uh, trying to. I wish he would lie to us about who he was, and uh, not. I and, know you, and not have a president that you know Brian can't let his little daughter listen to. Well, no, it's the show he can't let his daughter listen to. <laughs> oh, well, he really boy. fucked up in that uh, Chris Wallace interview. Have you seen that? He blows up. It's hilarious. What's this? Uh, he did a Chris Wallace interview on for Fox for Sunday, mm -hmm. but you can see it. It's it's online now, and uh, he blows up at Chris Wallace because Chris Wallace ch challenges him, mm -hmm. and he goes, uh, he goes, well, Biden Biden didn't say he he supports defunding the police, and fucking Trump just goes blowing up. Give me the give me the uh, the the paperwork. I'll show you. Blah blah blah. blah. He goes, couldn't find it. Was, it. He couldn't find it. There was nothing in there. He was lying. One hundred pages. He was lying. No, he he did say uh, d defund uh, in another in another thing. I think he just mixed the two up. Biden does not support defund. No, he the never police. has. That's no, one he... of the things I don't like about Biden. Yeah, yeah. What? That he doesn't want to defund yeah. the police. Yeah, and that he he what? wants to keep. He wants to actually give more money to the police and have a, just almost as militaristic a, a police force as, as Trump wants. No, no he think didn't so. want it militaristic. He said that he wanted them to use the money in other places. They wanted to re. He Biden said redirect the money. That's right. what he said. So uh, defunding or redirecting, it's the same. No, it's thing. not the How same. How about thing? if that redirection oh. was about retraining? Yeah, it's the, and, that would mean that they're still funding the police, right, Phil? And, you know, yeah, getting but, the police out of doing, you know, hot, you know the work that uh, you know mental health people should be doing. Well, right. we'll see how good it is because in Berkeley, uh, they just said that the police are no longer allowed to pull people over. They're going to use citizens to make traffic stops and uh, you know, also do these. Uh, uh, well, home, uh, you know, when there's uh, a, a domestic uh, dispute. Uh, no, they're going to have to form a private. I mean, they're going to have to form a public uh, traffic, uh, you know, organization that's devoted just to. I understand. Traffic. I understand. That's, ridiculous. That's, that's, that's what the town council. That's what the city council voted on two days ago. Well, that's and not a good idea. That's ridiculous. That's Berkeley. Yeah, well, that's Berkeley. I right, they all ride bicycles anyway. No. Yeah. <laughs> Well, unicycle, electric unicycles. <laughs> Let's see here. Is there anything else that we can get uh, get Phil to excuse the bad behavior on the part of <laughs> Trump? Um, what do you think about the, what, 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 you, what you what you have? Oh, yeah. My question is, does does anyone think that Mary Trump is an interesting lady? Oh, it is. yeah. I, well, I, I'm a little upset about Mary Trump, okay? Now, she may be right, she may be wrong. She's got her ax to grind, okay? And all the people who, like MSNBC who hate Trump are all over her like flies on shit, all right? 
Uh, I think that we have to kind of put a little asterisk there. Like, you know, yes, she's telling her side of the story, but remember, uh, she didn't get a lot of money from Grandpa, you know, and uh, she's got this against this and this against that. And, you know, when she's being interviewed by Rachel Maddow, Rachel Maddow's licking her pussy, you know, and not asking the hard questions. You know, uh, and and I think they need to be asked because I still think that a a book like this is uh, to begin with. She's not going to get published unless she makes the publisher happy that what she's going to put in the book are going to be some interesting revelations. Right. You know, uh, I, I got the same kind of thing out of her. I, I saw her on the Chris Como tonight. I saw bits and pieces of it. I recorded. I haven't seen the whole thing, but I got the same impression from what I saw. What what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, she's, she's, uh, she's, uh, well, Chris, Chris was asking her some a little bit rougher questions. I think she was putting, he was, you know, putting it to her a little bit. Yeah. Mm. But she, she's going to go on Fox too. He is, huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. She's willing well, to. She'll get it there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think, I think Cuomo's good. Cause he, he does say, well, you know, skeptics are going to say this, this, and this, and they have me answer those questions. And he did do that. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 But, you know, I saw Maddow's interview with her, and it was softball. You know, it was just softball all the way around. Huh. You know, and I, look, I, I like anybody that's going to slam Trump, okay? I'm, I'm a big Trump slam, uh, uh, slam Trump uh, fan. But I think mm -hmm. if you're going to slam him, slam him fairly. It's got to be provable. It's got to be, you know, it can't be just thrown out there. you got to have something concrete behind it otherwise it's just going to be politicized more and it's not going to solve anything where's well, the proof to any of what she's saying well it's everything yeah. it's everything that uh <clears throat> it's everything that she wanted to that people wanted to hear that, you right know, and that's no good you know i i just i i don't know i, I haven't paid it, any it, attention the two, the two small parts that i heard sounded like stuff you hear around the thanksgiving table bullshit i mean i'll 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 believe what's his name's book the one that came out uh uh Bolton? Huh? Bolton? Bolton. Bolton. I believe his book a little more than I believe hers. Okay. Yeah. Um, because he is a, you know, he is a tried and true conservative uh, and very much a right winger. And he doesn't like Trump. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, so at least it's coming from that side. You know what they say is really hurting Trump? Ooh. Is the Lincoln Project. Yeah, they're it really is. they're really doing him some damage because these ads yeah. are really good and really they're popular. conservatives. And they just got uh, a, a thirty four million dollar uh, grant. To, wow, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah to continue. Uh, with it. They're doing God's work. They're doing God's <laughs> yeah. work. They said, look, we're conservatives, you know, but we don't want to see this guy be president again for another four years because he's right. not a conservative. You know, and I've said and, it. I, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Could you imagine? We saw f almost four years of Trump. Could you imagine a lame duck, duck yeah. a lame duck Trump, and what he'll be well, like, yeah. not having to worry about a real? Well, I would love to be a fly on the wall of the Conway family. Yeah, because yeah. he's part of the Lincoln Project, and he and Kellyanne must get into mm -hmm. some very interesting discussions, or maybe they I, don't. I a, maybe they don't. You know, I get it. I got a feeling Kellyanne's uh, anonymous. I got a feeling she's a fake in the whole thing. And, and when it's all over, she's going to come out and say, hey, you know, I, I knew he was a psycho, but, you know, I wanted to stay inside and, you know, let everybody, you know, know what was going on. And that's just that's a her speculation. There, there was another power couple uh, well, you're talking, in the Clinton yeah. administration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mary you know. Knappen and uh, the guy from Louisiana. Yeah, yeah, yeah Who? exactly. You know, James and, Carville. Carville, yeah. James yeah. Carville, Carville and, and Mary yeah. Madeline. Yeah, Mary Madeline. it's funny. Uh, I don't, yeah, he he, I don't hear much from her anymore. I hear once in a while from Carville, but uh, well, I see her around every now and then. But yeah. she, but she, but, uh, you know, they, they have. They, people ask them how how can you two get along, and they say, right. you know, uh, uh, what we have is love and a relationship and a marriage. And what goes on with our political feelings is entirely different. You know, it's it's a whole different uh, different story. So yeah. maybe Conway, the Conways have that similar kind it could of could be, uh, but I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, 
the way he, know. the way that uh, Kellyanne's husband is going after Trump right now is amazing. Trump was, must be pissed. Was Carville any less ruthless? No. No, no. Huh. But Trump is, yeah. but yes. Trump is the loyalty guy, and you have some someone against that loyalty, and he's going to drill you. Well, his uh, uh, Kellyanne Conway is loyal. You know, no matter what, that's still irritating. Well, you don't know. I mean, uh, you know, John's uh, attitude about maybe she's just playing the mole. You know, that could be. <laughs> that could be. I mean, do you, you think if Trump goes another four, he, isn't he going to start pushing his daughter and everybody else on us for yeah, the next yeah. four? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, he'll oh, start arresting his political now. enemies. And, and I, I think she's going, she's going to work for Goya Foods anyway. <laughs> I heard someone say, "Can you imagine if uh, she got elected president? We'd be we'd have a, a phone sex operator voice for the next four years." <laughs> Here, I'm going to take my temperature. I want to make sure I'm okay. <laughs> Are you using the rectal? Oh, come on! Where's Ray's? <laughs> put Ray's and put the put the one on your forehead. Yeah, all three. Hmm. We need a tiebreaker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, don't open the package. Uh, if you do, it kind of ruins the whole. Uh... Ninety-eight four. Yeah. Let me see here. Let me take it again. And uh -huh. it down. This one always goes down if I do it a second time. Hmm. I hear for drinking hot coffee. <laughs> hey, some some women will go down if you do it a second time as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ninety-eight two. See, it went down. So I'm okay, right, Brian? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only thing is, you what about the forehead? You didn't do the forehead. The forehead, forehead thing. Too. The forehead thing is always. It's ne about a. It's it's never. Look at that. Ninety six five. Oh, you're fine. Mm -hmm. Average it out. Moving well, average. Well, which one? No, but which one do you believe? The thermometer you put in your mouth, or or this one? I would think that the thermometer in your mouth is is yeah. more accurate. It's inside, where yeah. your skin temperature is a little cooler, and they probably figure that in when they when they test the skin, it's not going to be as warm. They probably know what that difference is. Yeah. yeah. Your skin yeah, temperature is not going to be 98.6 or somewhere. It's going to be a little less. Yeah. I, though I do point it at the, uh, at my uh, computer here <laughs> and look, it's red. It has COVID. <laughs> yeah. I have COVID 105.9. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. You know what's good about that? That thing will actually, uh, you can actually set it to do either skin temperature or surface temperature. So I can actually tell how hot the computer is getting or how warm it yeah. is in the room, or I can point it at something and, you know, see how the heat is on it. I was uh, checking, I had a guy here when the first year I moved in and I was complaining about uh, the, the builder here complaining about the temperature in one of my rooms in the bedrooms mm -hmm. and he was pointing a gun at the vent and he was testing the the, the uh how cool the air was mm -hmm. yeah. coming out of the vent and he said you're fine but they yeah they use it to test that mm -hmm. they use the same thermometers to test uh, the air coming out of the vents yeah 98.1 phil yeah that's oh. probably a laser though um Oh, no. diff different from that, really? Yeah. Is it more accurate, or you can't use it on humans? Yeah, they use them like on motors and stuff, engines. I, I I have one that you can point at the floor, like at a concrete floor, to figure out what the temperature is, so you know whether the glue is going to be able to set up properly. Yeah, you get them at Harbor Freight. And stuff. But I I hear that the, the ones that are really accurate, the ones you go in your ear, are supposed to be the most accurate. Mm -hmm. It's got to be the one that's going to be the most accurate. Let me put it this way. If it's over 103, you know you've got COVID, okay? Oh, right. It's bad news, John. Yeah. You've got a fever. What I hate about that thing, though, about the uh, about the, the two thermometers and, the, and the, the sensor thing, is that they change color depending upon what your temperature is. So when it goes yellow, it's like 99 and above. And then when it goes red, it's 101.5 and above. And you in don't the want morning, to, huh? In the morning, when I go in for my radiation, I I use this in the morning because I want to make sure they're not going to turn me away after I drove 25 minutes. And uh, then I ask them what my temperature is, and it's actually been the same as as this. So really? they use the one that they hold to your forehead, and uh, it's been consistent with this. Yeah. And, well, that's yeah. But uh, anyway, so uh, uh, where is, oh, hey, Josh, you haven't said anything tonight, Josh. Uh, Jeff is giving us the finger. 
Yeah, <laughs> this is the way I do it. Oh, wow. Isn't that oxygen? Is that oxygen or is that uh, temperature? It's just temperature. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Anyway, Josh. It's quick too. Josh. Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Yeah, her woman wants to stay on the bench so bad. She, oh, she's she's a trooper. She's doing it for the rest of us. But you know, we can argue if something happens to her and we need to get a you know we have an, a vacancy on the Supreme Court. We'll say, remember what happened when Obama wanted to do it in his last year of his presidency. That was the Biden doesn't rule. Doesn't matter. Kyle President. doesn't care. He's a hypocrite. He doesn't give a fuck. They called it the Biden rule because it was something Biden said like 20 years ago. Yeah. No, but well, it wasn't like a the, rule. It wasn't a like rule. The, it wasn't a rule. And the Republicans said, well, that's the way it should be. That should be the rule. Blah, 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 blah. Well, if that's the way the rule should be, then he doesn't but, get to pick a Supreme Court justice right now. He'll do it anyway. But it was Obama's yeah, last term. He'll ram it through and, anyway. No, it was Obama's last term. But Trump has four more years ahead no, of him. No, he doesn't. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, dream on, dream on. The latest, I'm latest, the, show. the latest the national show. survey uh, uh, has uh, Biden 15 points ahead of Trump. It doesn't matter. It's a long time it, away. Wait, mean a long time away. It's four months, Phil. It's a How very short time. How many more people will away. die between now and then? Hope everybody dies. We're going to find out how untruthful or how inaccurate the yeah. uh, COVID uh, uh, death. Uh, I don't want to hear that. Do you so see this? Do you see this, Florida. Phil? Do you see this? You know what this is, Phil? You know what this is, Phil? That's one of those. <laughs> All right. so in Florida, they had a 21-year-old that was in a motorcycle accident yesterday. He died. And when uh, it turns out that he also was positive for COVID. So they listed that death as a COVID death. Now, COVID. you know what I'm going to do, yeah, Phil? I, mean, you know. I, I, will, I will give you that one, okay, that it isn't a COVID death. What about the other 139,175? <laughs> okay. So then there was one guy. That, <laughs> We're going to take him one at a time. There we go. All night. And he got hit by a bus. <laughs> yeah. But he was positive for COVID. It is true. <laughs> Another guy. <laughs> Got hit by a truck. If it happened with a thousand of them, yeah. If it happened with a thousand, even five thousand of them, ten thousand, yeah. Yeah. They showed the deer dead on the side of the road. I'll give you five. I'll give you five thousand, and it's still a hundred and thirty thousand. Well, okay. the other 40,000 are the ones at the three or four states that sent those uh, patients back. Yeah, well, what's happening now is we're sending – we're, we're, here's what's happening. We're going to be sending all of uh, the state's information, not to the CDC, but essentially a clearinghouse run by the White House. And yeah. what's going to happen is we're go they're going to lie to the American public like the Chinese lied to us. Oh, yeah. 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 Hey, it's, 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 the same, it's the same. Anything, anything. <laughs> the numbers are going to be. He doesn't up. care if people die, and he just doesn't want us knowing about it. That's exactly. That's exactly. It. Just push it under the rug. Nobody will know. He, well, his <laughs> whole his whole modus operandi is, what can I do that's going to help me get elected? How can I keep from uh, being thrown out of office? And rather than saying, what can I do to help the American public? That's a yeah. the most important thing I should be doing right now. And if I do what's right, maybe they'll think it's okay. But I'm not doing what's right. He's doing whatever he's doing to be sure that he can um, be reelected. And that's his only motivation in any of this. And that's pretty shabby. That's you, pretty shabby. I was going to ask you, do you, let's say that after November 3rd he loses, do you think you'll ever hear like the real truth of like, all Trump really had to do was unite the country, right? Instead mm -hmm. of dividing all the states. Do you think anybody will ever admit to what really, like this was a bad campaign strategy by him here. Well, like I, I, I think that that this is a bad thing for, for, for a lot of Republicans out there because they, they've sided with Trump because they're afraid not to because he's a bully and they, as a Republican, feel that somehow there's some magic there that they've got to attach themselves to. And some of them are starting to say, well, you know, I think I'll run my own campaign here. I think I will be critical from time to time. 
Uh, but it, it's really pretty sad what the Republican Party has become. And I know there are yeah. a lot of Republicans like uh, 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 Crystal, uh, uh, who, um, what's, it, what's his first name? Um, uh, William or Billy? No, uh, not Bill. Billy Crystal Chris. Gale? William Crystal. William Crystal. Yeah, he's a publisher uh, uh, of... Um, London? Right wing paper. Uh, William yeah. Crystal. Uh, anyway, William. he said, he said, look, he says, I, I can't vote for Trump. He said, uh, you know, to begin with, he doesn't live up to my conservative values. And uh, I'm just I'm going to have to vote for Biden. He says, I don't want to. He said, but I have to because I can't vote for Trump. And, and, and oh, there are quite a few Republicans starting to say that, including the six Republicans or five or six Republicans who are running uh, the Roosevelt Project, uh, the Lincoln Project. Lincoln. You know, they don't seem to be able to contend with him either. You know, so uh, he's starting to have some people bail out on him. And uh, we'll see what happens. You know, we'll see what happens anyway. Um, I, I think I think what Trump proves is that there there's probably one third of the people, not of the cold, total population of America, but one third of the people that actually vote that are just bat fucking shit crazy, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're just, just fucking insane. You know, the, the, they subscribe to this QAnon stuff, and, you know, they're they're like, you know, like Roseanne Barr followers and shit like that. You know, they're just yeah. insane. What yeah. happened? Well, I, I just, uh, I think that it's, uh, you know, we only got four months, you know? I mean, it, yeah. you, you it, Phil goes, oh, we're so long way away. No, no. Uh, it uh, and uh, the funny part is you always have that October surprise. Mm -hmm. I think this year it's going to be pulled on him. So, you know, I think there's oh. something sitting in the wings that hasn't even yet exploded about him. What else can bring him down, though? You know. <laughs> well, I I don't. Uh, here's what somebody said about Biden, and I agree. If I had the advice to give Biden, I give him exactly the same advice. Uh, just stay out of the way. Yeah. Just stay out of the way. <laughs> but let me get yeah. back to Josh. Uh, uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. You figure she's toast at this point? I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, she might leave her seat after the election. Oh, she know. will. Um, I mean, I actually, I, I think that she would wait until... January she 20th. might wait until January when, you know, the new president was sworn in, if if that's what the case might be. Uh, I, mean, I think she can hang on till then. I mean, even if she was, I hadn't heard that she was like, you know, it was really advanced or terrible or anything. I'm not saying they would necessarily say that, but uh, it didn't appear to be. So, I mean, I'm sure she can live for a few more months hopefully yeah. you know at least I thought, you know, hopefully she lives a lot you know a long time but i'm just saying realistically so you know and i mean there's not a particular i think the term is up and i don't i don't think they come back anyway yeah until sometime in the middle of october i believe to even hear anymore so there's no arguments to be heard right now they're basically out of session um you know so she's kind of off right now anyway to be free so i mean that's what i'm saying there even if she were or any of the justices were to have passed away you know tonight you know there's no reason to appoint a justice right now there is a very important election in just a matter of about 120 days the court is out of session um there is no reason they couldn't delay the next session by two months if they had to with everything that's going on and even if they didn't you know the courts operated with eight justices before you know, there would be no sense in that. Uh, I, I could see Ruth Bader Ginsburg possibly waiting until the election and then the swearing in uh, with the fear that they would try to make some sort of lame duck appointment or even a recess appointment, which wouldn't last. I mean, the lame duck appointment would and, and jamming it through. Mm -hmm. She's uh, she's probably skeptical of that, like a lot of people. I Josh, or uh, who knows about liver cancer? Uh, you know, how long do people live that have liver cancer and they're maybe in the stage that she's in? Uh, I don't know. Why yeah. don't you call up, why, why, why don't you call up Trump? Yeah. He's the doctor. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, that's true, but you don't want to say anything disparaging about Ruth. Really? Oh, come on. What's held him back all of a sudden? Yeah, well, what's holding He's going to have to replace her, you know? That's true. Oh, God. Yeah. He probably kind of replaced it already. He probably has a whole map on his wall. We get rid of him, we hire him and slot him He's right in. He's got a list. He's got he a list. And Pony, a... you're not on it. Thank God. I don't want to be on it. <laughs> I'd be fired already. I'd be you're on the list. shit list. <laughs> I noticed, the Phil, that, that you have time while you're on here to tell Matt Crash <laughs> uh, that he should try to learn a new word. <laughs> yes. Matt Crash, when you go when you go on your first date after your face clears up, you should be so lucky to get a girlfriend instead of your hand. Hey, you know the kid's a fourteen-year-old punk with pimples sitting in his parents' basement, uh, telling me to and, shut up. No, I happen oh. to know Matt Crash. Yeah, Good. yeah, he's the head of a big corporation. Oh yeah, I'll bet he is. Uh, what what is it? Uh, <laughs> uh, the Crisco Corporation. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, I give up. Anyway. I had enough of this little punk. Uh, you know, it's really, he's getting to you, isn't he? Keep going, uh, Matt. Uh, no, Keep going, Matt. To a one eight hundred. Now he's writing one eight hundred. Shut up, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that, that's because he's calling the uh, you know the the girl hotline. You know, yeah, he's he's cutting and pasting. I'm sure because you yeah. can't. Well, you know, fast. when 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 the pimples clear up, we'll be able to see what he looks like. Hey, he says, uh, Phil Meyer, I occupy so much space in your head. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Well, my friend Paul has given him uh, a, a, a run for his money, too. Paul? Yeah, Paul John. Where? I don't see Paul here. Uh, way up at the beginning. Oh, way up at the beginning? Wait a yeah. minute. I usually never look at this thing as it's going along. Yeah, well, you know, I got I got tired of this kid just uh, you know saying his stuff. It's time it's time that he got called out for what he really is, which is a fourteen year old whacking off in his oh, parents. Oh, your face. friend Paul Jung, he's really yeah. good at comebacks. Shut yeah. up, Matt. Uh, well, that's fair. <laughs> Boy, that's that's really a what, good comeback. You'd, you'd, you'd Boy, rather him say that the kid's masturbating in his parents' he, basement. He, he's he's you know? really he's really. Uh, defending you, Phil. Shut up, Matt. Hey, that's more than the rest of them. I think if Droopy Dog were to say, be shut up, Matt. <laughs> yeah. There's uh, the, the Giants and the A's right now. Yeah. yeah. Well, we, we're at a virtual game? The inner squad game. Yeah, but you see, yeah. we can't show that because any description of the baseball game is strictly prohibited. Just so, don't describe Huh? If Justice Ginsburg There's is baseball on my phone. <laughs> is that on cable? Is that came on right no, now. It's on, it's on Facebook. Come on, the man. San Francisco, San Francisco Giants are live right now with dignity, health, inner squad baseball. Wow, I'm gonna ride my my. I thought that wasn't until next week. Where's Howard from Hawaii no, this right week? How, Howard? They had it yesterday too. Howard, where are you? Vacation. We wonder where Howard's at the is this week. And uh, I think, uh, am I right? Am I wrong? Uh, but um, our, our um, well, well, forget it. I'm trying. I got to... breaking news. What? Uh, there was a uh, tweet from Donald Trump. He says, uh, I'm, I'm the ultimate member of the Book of the Month Club. First, I have low life dummy John Bolton, a warmongering fool, violating the law, release massive amounts of classified information, <clears throat> and an EA in order to build badly needed credibility to make a few dollars. Which, and I guess that's the end of this treat. Oh, show this thread. Uh, I, you can see more. Yeah, uh, but he doesn't read. Yeah, well. Someone yeah. told him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, anyway, breaking news. Uh, it comes across the, uh, my thing. It says, uh, you know, tw Twitter, uh, Twitter news. You uh, follow Trump on your Twitter? Yeah, that's one of the few that I do. So you're not a little worried he's Hmm? Yeah. Be nice if he followed me. You gonna play just, something, John? You never play anything. You just, you just, I just bought it. I can't play it. I just bought it. Is that an eight string? No, it's a it's a mandolin. I know, but how many strings do a mandolin does a mandolin have? Well, it has four pairs of two each. Oh, yeah. okay. So it's eight. Yeah, that's are, eight. Are you famil familiar with the banjo lately? With the what? Banjo lately. 
Oh, God. Yeah, I've seen those, yeah. Yeah, there was a guy in England, what's his name now? I'm trying to remember his name now, who used to play the banjo lele and was really good at it. Somebody in the chat room said John Lewis just died. Really? John Lewis, the uh, the the congressman. Yeah, well, I, I think he died a I while ago, didn't he? <laughs> didn't he die a while ago? No, months ago. That was uh, uh, the guy from Georgia. He's bullshit and probably. I don't know. Let's see here. Check it out. That was Elijah Cummings. Yeah, Elijah, Elijah Cummings. Cummings. He wanted to die. Oh, oh, okay, uh, John Lewis. Yeah, he's, I, one, he's one of the Freedom Walk Marchers. Yeah. Let me see here. John Lewis. Oh, do, 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 do. John Lewis. Let me see here. Uh, USA Today is reporting it. Lewis. Okay. Oh, really? Wow. Yep. That's sad. Yeah, Congressman it's John confirmed. Lewis. Uh, let's see Stage here. four pancreatic uh, cancer. Oh, wow. Since like December. Yeah. Uh, and... It's it's Alex Beck also has uh, pancreatic cancer, but he's doing better. Isn't he's it? doing very well. Who? Yeah. Uh, uh, Alex Trebek. Oh, Alex Trebek. He, he, you know, uh, I have someone very close to me who had pancreatic cancer. Still, I mean, technically has it. Um, and um, Damn, uh, that sucks. Uh, you know, it's not uh, it, it, the prognosis is never any good. No. Okay, you know so. Uh, what have you, you know? Yeah. yeah My father. Let me see here. Well, Bree, uh, I, I, I let Bree in, and uh, then there's no Bree. Uh, oh, well. Uh, right. Bree posted pictures of his new place. It's very nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, Koi but, Pond. But, but, and, but I, very nice place. But I don't have a, I don't have a, uh, he, he was, I, it, well, he wanted to be admitted, and then I admitted him, and uh, then he didn't show up. He wanted to be committed, not yeah. admitted. No. So, Bree, try one more time if you if you want to. Apparently, has shitty internet where he moved. Okay, did he move to a new place? Yeah, yeah. yeah. just the yeah. other. Day. Yeah, he was packing up last week. So. Oh. Well, uh, oh, here, well, wait a minute. No, that's not him. Oh, well. Neva, what is this? Neva K? Who is this? Does anybody know who this is? River K. Wait a uh, let me see. Uh, Bree says that you're not checking the waiting room. I checked the waiting room and I clicked him and he didn't come on. So just oh, tell him no. next time I click him, come on. Who is Niv me Try again. Who's Niva K? Did somebody just change your name to Niva K? Oh, that's oh, that, that, that's yeah. Kevin. That's Kevin. Kevin. Okay. Did it last night. Kevin too. backwards. Yeah. Oh, ah, oh, good job. Very good. Very good. Um, I don't want him to find me. Yeah. Like John. Oh, yeah. The John Larkin uh, conspiracy uh, theory. Kevin and like Mirror. Squiggly yeah. Biscuit tonight. Yeah. I so, still want to see downstairs of John's place and see all those pictures with the strings going, the conspiracy theory. Oh, me? <laughs> yeah. You always have the wild conspiracy theories of things going on. Yeah. Not me. Yeah, uh, Bree, if you're listening, just try it again. I I admitted you, and you didn't uh, you didn't come ahead. You just I guess got... it's okay. Fourteen minutes? Uh, huh? Oh, uh, he's saying that it's only fourteen minutes to the end of the show. So well, he's... he was calling wow. at sixteen minutes before the end of the show. So why should that be a problem? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, uh, but anyway, uh, so you know, anyway, so we lose John Lewis. Oh well, you know. Um. He, uh, you know, the, 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 he, you know, he was 80 years old. So am I. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll make it to 80. You, you'll make it to 80? I hope I do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here I am at 80 and I feel like crap. Here we go. Now here's Bree and I admit him. Okay. And he's joining, it oh, says. Yeah. yeah. And he's not, uh, he's not, he's not hooking up. I, I've, you know, hmm. Uh, oh, there he, here he comes. Here he comes. F f I think. I'm trying yeah. to, yeah, there's Brad Freeman. Yeah. I guess that's the name for Bree, right? And, and, and yeah. that would be a uh, royal flush. 
Uh, hello, Brad, are you there? Bree? Bree? Oh, oh, I don't want to have to deal with this. I don't Maybe he didn't have internet working right in his new place. Well, he his camera isn't on. Uh, asked to start video. So I asked to start his video, and he didn't start his video. So, you know. But at least I got, oh. to, put, I got to put up the royal flush. Uh, so, um, um, so how much longer do we have with the Supreme Court, Josh, before it closes down for the, uh, for the, <clears throat> for the summer? I, don't know. I thought it already did. Yeah, I think it's, they're already out for the summer because they put their last rulings out. Yeah. One day last week. Like, so that was it for that term. Yeah, they have a couple terms a year. I, I think they come back in October mm -hmm. for the winter term. I'm pretty sure. I don't know the exact date or anything. Josh, I remember the two rulings that came down that uh, one went to Trump and one went against him. There were several other rulings that I think one with the Second Amendment. Do you, do you know what the uh, outcome of those things were? I didn't hear anything else about it. I don't remember. I think. Well, it was the uh, gay and lesbian one. They, that one won. Yeah. And the uh, the abortion one lost. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it was. But that that was two. I, I think there were more rulings than that. I think there was about oh, five. Was By the way, there's there's Bree, but there we're, we're getting we're not getting a great signal from him. He's got to turn it sideways. Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, you're. He, your... He's in. A, it looks like he's in a restaurant. Mall. A mall. Yeah. Are you using that Russian phone again? <laughs> no. Samsung. Boy, you're breaking up and all uh, of that. All right. Well, sorry about that. I'll just mute myself here. Oh, okay. Just have your picture there. So I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't think it was a particularly oil flush, joyous uh, term uh -huh. for the Republican Party. I suppose you know, as far as the court went, uh, I think they were pretty disappointed at multiple fronts. But you know, I mean, look if. If there are people out there that are uncomfortable with voting for Biden for whatever reason still, you know, the Bernie supporters or the Elizabeth Warrens or whatever, I mean, I'm not going to try to talk them out of it. I guess I would just say then don't think about your voting for Biden. Think about your voting for the next justice of the Supreme Court. You know? yeah. But why don't you just look at it that way? And so you you know you could have Trump win and you could get nothing, or you could have Biden be victorious and you can only get one thing that you're happy with. Yeah, one is better than none. So, well, that's an important one. I mean, yeah, right, exactly. So I I hate it. Right. I hate Think those, of it that way. I guess. Yeah, I hated those people who uh, 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 voted for um, the Green Party candidate yeah. because they didn't want to vote for Hillary. Well, thank you, you assholes. Yeah, you know. I know. They did that with uh, with with Ralph Nader too. That's, yeah. That gave the gave it to Bush. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, you know, I helped look. give it to Clinton because uh, I yeah. I voted for uh, Perot. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've been you know on this before. You know, yeah. I mean, I I would never say that a person cannot vote for who they want if they're truly not comfortable with either candidate. And there's this third party person that. They think. I mean, that's fine because if we always say no, it's got to be this one or this one. You know, if enough people start to feel the third party is popular, that's how it would become popular and win. Very rarely. So, have so I, that's fine. Yeah, very rarely. Yeah. But you're right. I mean, it's going to lead to you know an end result that they're yeah. not going to like either. So, so that's what I was saying was try to look at it a different way. I guess you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wonder how many of those hundred thirty-eight thousand people that died voted. You know, yeah, third party. Sure, a lot. So I mean, just try to look at it as, you know, you're voting for the next justice of the U.S. Supreme Court because Justice Ginsburg is almost certainly gone mm -hmm. in the next presidential term, whether it's yeah. Donald Trump, Joe Biden, or right. you know, yeah. Joe fucking yeah. Blow from wherever is president. It doesn't matter. I mean, That's if right. she lives, she that long. That's fine. You know, but I mean, yeah. she's probably not going to serve. Oh, I think it's horrible what's happened to her. And what's horrible about yeah. what I say, what is horrible that happened to her, is I think that under normal conditions, if let's say Hillary had won, she yeah. would have quit by now, 
and, yeah, and spent right. the rest of her life in some kind of peace and comfort. <clears throat> but instead, she's had to stay on the Supreme Court because she didn't want to see uh, Trump have that kind of majority. You know, as much, Phil, as you would like to say, oh, good, we can get all those great conservatives on the Supreme Court, the fact of the matter is that's not a healthy Supreme Court. A healthy Supreme Court is, yeah, it's going to go one way or the other, maybe we're going to have one swing vote. That's a healthy Supreme Court, okay? It's not a healthy Supreme Court when you have nothing but conservatives on And And the Democrats backing Biden don't want to stack the deck uh, by adding more justices. We're, 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 Phil, states. Phil, Phil, no, we don't, okay? You can't prove uh, otherwise. No, don't yeah. don't come up with those suppositions. It, but, you do, know, not come up with those idiotic, do not come up with those idiotic suppositions. The fact of the matter is that, uh, no, we, we, I don't know what we would do if suddenly we had a Democrat in office for years. I think you might find that a good Democrat, a good liberal, would put a conservative on the Supreme Court if he felt that he was going to make the balance too bad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, no. you know, I certainly can't be accused of that. I, I think I've been overtly, you know, nice to conservative justices over the years. And, and I will say that the only party that ever truly tried to rig the court was the Democratic Party with FDR. But my point of that being, historically... But his own party, and this would not happen today, but his own party said, N -n no, oh. over our dead body, it's yeah. not fucking happening. It's just not. And if you want to say horseshit, that's fine. But if Trump came out with a plan tomorrow and wanted to change it from nine justices to 15, the Republican Party would say, well, yeah, that's a great fucking idea. Why don't just fucking get her done? I mean, if they had a <laughs> super majority, it might already be done. So, I mean, you know, I mean... One party had some integrity, and one party probably wouldn't. I mean, gosh, no. wasn't it a different time? You know, when that's, that's, that's my president. point. It the was a different time. Together. And also, you don't know. You don't know. You can put a, 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 a Roberts is a good example of. You would have thought he was a slam dunk conservative on every issue, and he's not. He's actually a good, a fairly good justice because he's voting like he observes the Constitution. It, it's turning out that uh, Bush appointees were, and Bush was a, a globalist, and he wasn't really wasn't a, a, a not a globalist. What if what he was a globalist? globalist? Yeah. He wouldn't be building a fucking what does that wall. Mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What it does that mean? That they be he heard elite. it somewhere. The elites Rob. want to give the power. They want all to rule the world, and therefore, yeah. am I elite? Am I an elitist? Power. Am I an elitist, Phil? Uh, well. Once in a while, you get a limousine, but you know, uh, limousine liberal. You know, but, you, all you're doing, you're just parroting you stuff. You know, you have. When, uh, you come know, back here with. Andy, come back here was, with a good opinion well, when you've got they, your own mind. Listen, in they play. sent all these jobs to China. They destroyed our manufacturing, mm -hmm. and what they were trying to do was we destroyed our manufacturing, Phil, by not manufacturing good products. Okay. We didn't manufacture good products as well, but, uh, you know, on the other hand, did the Chinese? No, they just manufactured cheap products. No, they don't. No, they don't. It's expensive. No. Well, it didn't start out that way, but that's the way it goes everywhere. It was Japan, and then it was China, and they keep moving it to places where they keep they keep making other countries they bring them up to a standard and then they move on to somewhere else yeah. it's they cheap. say that the chinese by 2049 uh, want to be the it, dominant it, uh, power the in the chinese world. it's going to happen they want, and, and they want to rule the world the chinese the way, aren't the, the way we're uh, moving so, that's what's so going to happen get used to it the I'll chinese the chinese are for a long time the, too. the chinese are not the evil ones canada is watch out for did them. you i i heard a funny joke i was on a conference call the other day and it was the canadian one of our Canadian partners, and he said, you know what we feel like here in China? We feel like we're renting an apartment above a meth lab. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we got to go, uh, everybody. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, uh, John Larkin. Uh, thank you very much, uh, 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 Nivek, Kevin. Uh, Tony, thank you. Thank you, Bree, even though you didn't say anything, but you've been eating. That's good. 
And uh, Charlie Wallace, hey, thank you so much for joining us this week. Why don't all of you give a big wave goodbye, and I will give a big wave goodbye back at you, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for this week. Uh, we're off for a couple of days until uh, next uh, Tuesday. In the meantime, you've got the next show coming on here, and you know who that is. That's uh, our good friend Jack Bishop in the intersection. He'll be forming a citizen panel, and you'll want to be part of it, won't you? Okay. Anyway, uh, we'll see you on Tuesday. Uh -huh. Yeah, at 1030, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, and stay safe and wear a mask. Okay? Bye.